I'm Stacy Licht from Transformation Thrive, and I'm going to talk to you about carbohydrates in the GI tract. Carbohydrates are macronutrients, and in the GI tract, digestive enzymes break them down into glucose, which is a monosaccharide and their simplest form. This mainly happens in the small intestine, where glucose is then absorbed into your bloodstream for your body to use as energy. There are two types of carbs, simple and complex, and the rate at which they're broken down into glucose has to do with their molecular structure, how much fiber they have, and how much they've been processed. Technically, fiber is another type of carbohydrate, although it behaves differently in the GI tract. Fiber is mainly indigestible, and it is not broken down into glucose. Fiber aids in slowing down the rate at which carbohydrates are broken down, and they also help to balance blood sugar. Now you may have heard of something called the glycemic index, which measures the rate at which a carbohydrate is broken down in the body. And the faster a carb is broken down, the higher its glycemic index. So simple carbohydrates consist of one or two sugar molecules and they are in natural foods such as fruits, certain vegetables, and dairy products, as well as natural sweeteners like molasses and maple syrup. They also include refined and artificial sweeteners such as those found in cookies, candy, and other sweet treats. Complex carbohydrates consist of three or more sugar molecules, and they are also called starches. This group includes such things as corn and potatoes and other starchy vegetables, things like beans, peas, and legumes, and also grains. And grains can be further divided into whole grains like quinoa and brown rice, or also processed and refined grains that you may find in pasta, crackers, cookies. Now, foods like fruits, vegetables, and whole grains, beans and legumes, they all contain fiber and tons of vitamins and minerals. And these foods help to reduce cholesterol and they promote reg regular digestion and excretion of waste. These foods, since they contain fiber, are actually processed slowly in the GI tract and they do not raise blood sugar like processed foods such as sweet treats and cookies, crackers, and pasta, which are refined and they get broken down quickly in the GI tract. These foods tend to contribute to metabolic syndrome, obesity, and diabetes. So when you can, stick to whole grains and other complex carbohydrates.